Here we will show you how to change firmware of TreatLife Intertech 3-way switch in order to free it from the cloud and pair with Home Assistant. This TreatLife switch is a 3-way model, which means it can be used to create a 2-switches staircase system. But we won't use this feature because it's easier to create stair switches with Tasmota device groups, which are already supported in OpenBeacon. Let's start with opening the case. Let's lever the case with a flat screwdriver, it should come off easily. There are two boards inside the switch, but we only need to access the smaller front board. That's where the Wi-Fi module is. Remove the screws to detach the board. Do not lose those screws, you will need them to put the device back later. As you can see, there is WB3S module. This module is using BK7231T. In the past, we have used BQWriter 1.60 for WB3S flashing, but now there is a better tool. We will use BK7231UI flash tool. Link is in the video description. In order to flash new firmware, you need to solder grant, power, UART lines, RX and TX. First, add some flex on the pads, then add some extra PB solder. Without adding extra solder to the pads, you wouldn't be able to easily solder the wires. Then thin your wires and finally solder the wires to the pads. Hold the wire with one hand and hold our soldering iron with other hand. Do not move wire away before solder solidifies. All four wires are now soldered. It's time to prepare the rest of the circuit. The schematic is shown on the screen. You will need a 3.3 USB to UART level converter and reliable 3.3 volt power supply, a low dropout regulator. Connect the USB to UART converter to computer. Remember, you will need to do a short power off and power on cycle in order to reboot the Wi-Fi module while the flashing tool is waiting for getting bus. Start the BKUI flash tool. Select your UART port. Select the platform, in this case BK7231T. Make sure you have latest firmware. This tool can download latest release automatically. Just click download and wait for results. Finally, click the Do Backup and Write option. Do a short power off and power on cycle while tool is waiting for getting a bus. Flash operation will start. Wait for it to finish. Operation complete. Now you can connect the OpenBeaky access point and make sure that everything works. It's time to put back the switch together. Desolder the wires and clean the PCB. Screw back the board, don't forget the spring. Put back the case together. Now you need to configure your device. You can check our template database, it's available both online and from within OpenBeacon. You can use search function to look for templates. You can also apply the template automatically in the OpenBeacon web application. Just select the target device and click the button. Everything should start working now as long as the chosen template matches your device. Let's check if it works for our switch. As you can see, the bulb reacts both to the physical button on the switch and to the control via Open Beacon page. Everything works correctly. If you can't find a template for your device, you can always ask on our forums. We will help you with your device setup. 
Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please visit our forums. Remember that you can also submit new device teardowns and templates there. Any kind of IoT device is welcome. See you on the forum.